difference rule. So, here it states that if functions are added or subtracted to each other, we get the individual um, integral per term and then we add or subtract at the end. So, let's have a quick example. Siyempre, madali muna. The integral of x plus 2 dx. So, first we separate them from each other. You'll have the integral of x dx. Sige pan. Plus the integral of 2 dx. Now, we look at them little by little. Ano ang exponent ni x? Anong gagawin natin kay x? Oh, huwag niyong kakalimutan. Math to eh. Uh -oh. So, the integral is 1. Okay. Uh, sorry, the exponent is 1. So, this is now going to be x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Okay. How about here? It's a constant. What are we going to do with the constant? What do we do? All right. Okay. Lalagyan ng x. Uy, mga inday. Ang pag-zero ay difference, ay, ay derivative. Baligtad naman. 2x. Ayan. Kaka-discuss ko lang na ito kanina. <laughs> 2x. Mga batang ito. Uh, simplify further. We'll have x squared over 2 plus 2x. Anong kulang? Plus C. Ayan. Very good. Now, there was a question a while ago. Um, curious lang po ako, what if we're getting the derivative, pwede ba namin siyang gamite? pwede ba namin gamite ng anti-differentiation to check our answer? I think you could. I think you could. Um, let's try it with this. Let's try it with this. Let's reverse this. Okay. So, we have x squared over 2 plus 2x. Check natin kung ang makukuha natin ay um, tama. Okay, subukan natin. If we will get the derivative of this, then we have to multiply 2 dito sa side. So, you'll have 2x raised to 1. Tama? Kasi 2 minus 1 na lang. Pero may denominator ka pang 2. So, don't forget that. Here, when you're getting the derivative, x will just be 1. So, ang makukuha natin, magka-cancel-cancel tayo, our final answer will be x plus 2. Which is actually our given. So, we got that right. Ta-da! Diba? It's reversible. That's how you would check it. Now, the question was, what if nag the derivative tayo, tapos kukunin mo yung integral. So, ga, iti-check mo by integration. Ganun nga, ito yung process na yun. So, kunwaring, ito ang nakuha mong derivative, try mo siyang ibalik using the process that we did. Pwede siya. Okay? So, they are counter-checking each other uh, for you to be sure na tama nga yung nakuha ninyong sagot. Ano? Uh, level up tayo. Another example. Say that we have the integral of maglikita yung fraction. x squared mm, isip tayo mas mahirap. Sige na. x squared over 3 plus ano pa ba? Yung challenging para sa inyo. 6x 6x minus 1 dx. Ayan. Oh, let's do this. So we have to first separate each term. So, you'll get the integral of x squared over 3 dx plus the integral of 6x dx minus the integral of dx. Ma'am, bakit dx na lang? Kasi that is 1, di ba? So, that's technically 1 dx. Now, if it's 1 dx, I don't have to write 1 anymore. Okay? It's already understood. But... As your guide for this day, since next start pa lang tayo, sige, merong 1 yan, ha? Mm -mm. Let's do this. Let's get the integral per term. So, this is now separate one-third. It's going to be x 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 6. So, separate 6. You'll get an exponent kasi ni x dito. 1, na ano? 1. Meron tayo exponent na 1. So, this is going to be x, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. And then here, negative uh, minus the integral of 1 dx. Now, what is the integral of 1? 
Ano kasi? Mika, correct. Let's wait for the others. Okay, tama. The integral of 1 is going to be x. There we go. Now, let's simplify what we could simplify. You'll have 1 third. This is going to be x cubed over 3. This is 6 times x squared over 2. Thank you, Jethro. Sipag naman. Very good. Minus x. But we could still cancel out some of the terms here. Say we have 6 and 2. We cancel that out. It's in the numerator, ha? The larger number is in the numerator. So you put the uh, factor, or sorry, we put uh, the quotient in the numerator. And then we could also multiply 3 and 3 since they are both in the denominator. So we have um, x cubed over 9 plus 3x squared. Correct? Uh -oh, 3x squared minus x plus Let's see. Ta-da! That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Gian, correct? Cello. 